Welcome to a short video about pool safety requirements for pool safety inspectors. In this video, we will guide you on what you should look for when inspecting properties that have buildings inside the pool area. Let's get started. We will help you decide if a building is an acceptable class 10 building within the pool area. Knowing what to look out for will help you decide whether a separation barrier or other access restriction from the building into the pool area is required. You may see buildings with items such as a fixed barbecue, lounge and dining area and facilities such as a toilet and shower inside the building. These items may give the impression that the building is not a typical shed and you should endeavour to get further information. Classification of buildings is the responsibility of building certifiers and local governments. You should attempt to obtain approval documents and the final certificate for the building from the homeowner or encourage them to obtain approval documents and the final certificate from the local government. In circumstances where you have attempted to gain these documents and they are not available, for the purpose of the pool safety inspection, you may have to decide what classification the building is. The following information will be helpful when you are nominating a building classification for buildings within the pool area. The Pool Safety Inspector Guideline provides information about the classes of buildings as they are determined under the Building Code of Australia. The code sets out the minimum technical and design requirements and groups buildings by the purpose for which they are designed, constructed or adapted for use. It then goes on to list habitable room types and explains the minimum design requirements for damp and weatherproofing and natural ventilation. The definition of habitable room excludes rooms such as a bathroom, laundry, toilet or other spaces of a specialised nature used neither frequently nor for extended periods of time. In the example where there are fixtures and furnishings such as a barbecue for cooking and facilities such as a toilet and shower and a lounge area, you should consider all of the following. What is the intended use of the building? Is the building fully enclosable to make it weatherproof? And the frequency of use. In the example where the building includes a lounge room, which is also known as a habitable room, it is fully enclosed and weatherproof. It should be considered a class one building for the purpose of the pool inspection. If the building were not fully enclosed with at least one side open, for example, a patio, it would be reasonable to consider the building as a Class 10 for the purpose of the inspection. A storage shed for tools and equipment would generally be a Class 10 non-habitable building and permitted within the pool area as long as there is no access from outside the pool area to inside the pool area through the shed or garage via windows or doors. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, there are more short videos for pool safety inspectors available on the QBCC's YouTube channel. For more information on pool safety, visit the QBCC website and follow us on social media.